operate the trap at Buckley as part of my Mountain Dam flood control project. Um, and the purpose is really to move endangered species, uh, Chinook salmon, steelhead salmon. We also move coho and pinks. The pink salmon right now, as most people know, are on, the, on their run. It's a, every other year that the pinks run, which really kind of floods the trap with the number of fish. And we don't have a means to separate listed species from non-listed species, so we move all the fish upstream. In the next few weeks, we'll see greater and greater numbers of fish arriving. Right now, we're getting pinks in the hundreds. We'll soon get pinks in the thousands. And potentially, we could move anywhere from 500 to maybe 750,000 pink salmon alone over the next six to eight weeks. If you look really closely into the water, you'll be able to see the fish that are coming over the weir and entering the fish ladder. The, the top end of the fish ladder for the trap and haul operation is where fish are held before they can be taken and put into hoppers that get loaded into trucks. They come up a, a ladder from the river at the diversion dam. The diversion dam was built about 100 years ago to provide a way to divert water into Lake Taps. That was initially for a hydropower project that was run on the far side of Lake Taps. It took advantage of the plateau that we live on. The water can be dropped down and returned back to the White River. Now the water is diverted just really for recreation on the lake and potentially for drinking water supply in the, in the future. But it provided the core a, a good location where fish could be diverted and channeled over for, for capture because there's no way they would be able to get past Mud Mountain Dam otherwise. So as they come up to the ladder, they, they come to this holding area where we can put one uh, container of fish at a time, one truckload of fish at a time, and transport them the three or four miles that it takes to our site where we turn the river and they can continue to swim upstream to spawn. So right now, in the, in, you'll see in the trap we have both Chinook salmon and pink salmon. The Chinook salmon are considerably larger than the pink salmon. The pink are easy to see right now because they have a very green cast to their body, a very thin spine. The Chinook are much larger and they have a dark, almost leopard spot to their back. Um, and again, the Chinook are listed, but in order to see both the Chinook and the pinks up, uh, we can't separate fish by species. We move all fish upstream to spawn.